What's up guys, in this video we're gonna be reacting to three really funny posts from Reddit Relationship Advice. We're gonna see what are the common issues guys are having in their relationships and what is a practical no bullshit solution. Alright, so this has been a common request. People say, hey Alex, can you react to something from Reddit or relationship advice? And so I decided to pull up three of posts that I thought were very interesting and have a common theme, right? And these are all like the highly upvoted posts. So it wasn't like I just nitpicked something random. No, this was the stuff that was like on the front page. So the first one is this. How do I politely ask my girlfriend to wash her hands after using the bathroom? Uh-oh. My 26 male girlfriend, 26 female, five years, doesn't wash her hands after def defecating. I'm not 100% positive, but I hear the toilet flush and she immediately exits the bathroom. The door literally opens at the same time the toilet is being flushed. I'm no germ freak, but I wash my hands very often and her not doing so bothers me. How do I politely ask her to wash hands after using the bathroom? I don't wanna make her feel bad. Uh, okay, so what is going on here? Well, his girlfriend is taking shits without washing her hands. So what is the way that I would handle this? Direct communication. Right? I wouldn't worry about offending her. I'd be like, hey babe, I've noticed something. Um, do you wash your hands after you use the bathroom? I would just playfully and somewhat politely call her out on it. And then I would see how she responds. And honestly, if my girlfriend was like, oh yeah, I take shits without washing my hands. I would just be like, that's kind of gross. Like fucking wash your hands. Or if she tried to lie to me about it, I'd be like, come on, I know you're lying. I, I know you walk out too fast, right? So the way you would address that is with direct communication. All right, let's move on to the second one. He won't let, let me see him fully naked. So this is uh, from a girl's perspective. My boyfriend, 27, and I, 25, have been dating for the past six years, going on seven. He won't let me see him fully naked. When we have sex, he'll have a shirt on. He doesn't go swimming, so I've never seen him with his top off. One morning, I need to use the restroom right before he needs to get into the shower, and he would not get in the shower until I left. When I'm playing around with him in the shower and catch a glimpse, he gets mad. Uh, I know it sounds like insecurities, but why? We've been together for this long. I'm also a lot bigger than him. Oh, she's a lot bigger than him. I have no problem walk, walking the floor naked. Is it just a man thing or I don't know if it's getting really annoying. Uh, okay, so what's going on here? This is obviously an insecurity. This guy's insecure about his body for whatever reason. So what would I do in this girl's shoes? Again, direct communication. I'd be like, hey, listen, uh, I noticed you're really uh, worried about me seeing you naked, right? Like, what's up with that? Like, are you insecure or something like that? I typically notice this, like I've noticed this sometimes with girls who I'm dating, like if they have a big meal or something like that, even though they're still fucking sexy, they're like, babe, don't look at me, I'm fat. I'm like, girl, you're like 100 pounds, what the fuck are you talking about, right? So there's, a, there's an element of insecurity, typically it's more uh, common with women than men, but again, like, I don't care if it's happening with a guy or girl, right? If you're the partner, just direct communication. Like, hey, listen, like, what's going on with this? And again, you wanna have a conversation about it, right? There's no need to be elaborate or have any kind of strategy or try to be subtle about it. Just have a direct uh, conversation. All right, let's take a look at the last one. Girlfriend 25, female is terrible but indicating she wants sex and then gets mad when I, 25 male, don't recognize it. Girlfriend and I live together and both work from home. Our sex life is good, having sex or similar activities once or twice a week. Uh, that's not that good. If I lived with my girlfriend, be having sex like every day, or at least like every other day. So I wouldn't say that's good. That's that's average, maybe at best. I usually initiate and tell her if there are times she's in the mood that I have initiated, she's welcome to start something, and I will usually be happy to get along. However, she's really bad at it, and then. Uh, is upset when I reject her. Here are some examples. So yeah, we have another issue with communication. You see that vast majority of relationships problems boil down to insecurities and bad communication. Good communication can solve pretty much all of these issues. I'm working in the office, girlfriend comes in and says, hey, is there anything you want for lunch? I say, I don't know, I'll probably make pasta or sandwich or something. She then looks disappointed and leaves. The rest of the day she's pouty and sad. I ask what's up and she says, she's that eating lunch was supposed to be code for having sex during a lunch break. Yeah, this seems like a chick who just needs to get fucked really well. I would venture to say that she has a higher sex drive than the guy and she's not getting the level of fucking that she wants and needs. After work, I usually do church for a bit before we work on dinner. I was washing dishes when girlfriend came back from the store. She's like, I'm gonna go change because she's wearing normal clothes and prefers to wear sweatpants type when I'm lounging around the house. I say, okay, she goes into the bedroom, the door closed. I do chores for like 10 minutes and then she comes out of the room all annoyed saying that she wanted me to come in while she was changing and start sexy times. 
How was I supposed to know that? Changing after getting home is not a noble thing to me. Girlfriend goes for a park ride, gets home all sweaty. She then says she's going to shower. I'm like, okay, cool. When she's done, she's like, she says that she's deployed and I didn't come join her in the shower. Yeah, this is very clearly a case where the girl is not getting the level of sex that she craves. This is despite our shower not being very roomy and her turning me down for shower activity together in the past. Uh, explicitly because there's not much room for two people. Okay, weird. I have told her that she needs to be more direct if she wants to, sig to signal that she wants sex, but then she's not getting better. And it's quite frustrating when she starts pouting just because I don't pick up on the signals. She said that she wants the person that she is with just to know when she's in the mood, but I'm not a mind reader and feel like she's saying that people might say this all the time in a normal setting. How can I improve this? Okay, so this is actually a twofold issue. There's definitely a communication problem on her part. So if I was like coaching this girl, I'd be like, hey, listen, just be more direct. Tell your boyfriend what you want. Guys are notoriously very terrible at picking up on social cues, right, and reading into the situation. So I think that's definitely one part of the problem. The other part of the problem is the fact this girl is not getting fucked nearly as much as she wants. I would venture to say that this girl probably wants a more sexual experience. She wants the guy to just one day just pick her up and fuck the shit out of her, toss her on the bed. And I would venture to say this guy's pretty vanilla. He's probably not fucking her that well. We're not fucking her that much. So it's not so much about the quantity, it's about the quality. But I would venture to say that the quality of sex she's having isn't satisfactory to her. So I think there's several things this guy needs to do. One is just be more spontaneous. Like literally like fucking pick up your girl and just start fucking her, right? Like just start fucking the shit out of her, do more shit like that. Uh, you know, when she, when you sense at this point, you see a pattern. So she's kind of giving you these very subtle signs. Next time that happens, she goes in the shower, go in the shower and fucking say, Hey, what are you doing? She's like, well, what do you mean? I'd be like, look at you and jump in the shower. Like girls like that spontaneity. They're like a guy who's just not afraid to go for what he wants. Sometimes girls just like to feel like the guy's just like completely taking it over control and they can just surrender to him sexually, right? So that's the kind of experience that she wants and that's what she's lacking. But overall, the common theme you see in all these scenarios is shitty communication that can very, very easily be solved. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable. Show us some love by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe and clicking the bell for notification. Let me know in the comments if there's something else you want me to react to. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.